Good morning, how's everybody? It's Tuesday morning. We got Thanksgiving next week. And uh, I think we have a lot to be thankful for. So what do you guys think? Do we have a lot to be thankful this year? Awesome. And I, I really do, uh, I love this group. So I really appreciate um, giving me the opportunity to talk to you about Jokes IT Consulting. Um, so let's get started. So mo most importantly, this is, this is my family. Um, that's my dad, and that's on Prior Lake where I grew up. And uh, he, he's quite a character. He grew up in Germany during World War II. Tells me a lot of stories about Nazi Germany, what is life being a kid living in Nazi Germany. And um, yeah, really hard worker, I, um, smart guy, talks a lot. I don't know where I got it from, right? <laughs> um, that's my son, Jacob. Uh, Jacob and Jada and myself and my wife are in jiu-jitsu now. And this is Jacob getting his uh, gray belt. Um, it's been quite an experience for us. This is a uh, little Jada. She is uh, has quite a personality. And uh, those are her two sides right there. <laughs> one is a devil and one is a little angel. So, and my wife, Angela, and I, that was us skiing. So um, I, I love my wife very much. We met back in uh, 2001 and um, she's, she's a great partner. So on we go here. Um, who are we? So we were, um, I, I've been working in IT since 1997. I moved to Los Angeles in 95. Uh, moved out here from Minneapolis, and um, you know, I really, I, I've been doing it my whole life. So a lot of people say, "How did you get into it?" And I think it's because I've been doing it my whole life. My dad owned his own business, and he set up his own computer systems back when I was a kid, and I would help him way back in the days of DOS, and uh, right, and 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 Unix. Um, so I knew all this stuff. I learned it when I was like eight years old, ten years old. And he would take me to these little Brown Institute um, computer courses where we would go on the weekends to learn how to write little code things and stuff like that. So um, my company now, I'm the CEO and founder. Um, we have, we have a, a, a few engineers that we, we work with us and uh, we really support the entire IT uh, needs of all the businesses. So let me move on here. Oh, finally. <laughs> Guys, you're just really excited about this slide here. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. I really appreciate that. Yes, she really gets it. The, the feedback loop. Thanks, Julie. I appreciate that. <laughs> so we talk a lot about redundancy. We talk a lot about no single points of failure, uh, multiple backups. This is something that people don't really understand is like, why am I so hardcore about doing backups? I always want to make sure that we have three different backups. And the reason is, is because when we go back and look, inevitably one of those backups fails or one of those backups didn't back up something that you really needed. And um, I had just a case yesterday where somebody's laptop came to us and she said, she was like crying like, oh my God, all my stuff is it. My, date, my QuickBooks database is on this for the last nine years. And I asked her, like, did you have a backup? No, I didn't have a backup. But she had iCloud enabled. And so all of her files were on iCloud. By the time she got home, she dropped off her laptop at my uh, office yesterday, drove back to Woodland Hills, and she, by the time she got back home, she had all her files back. So, I mean, she was, she was so thankful for that. And I know the feeling that you get when you think that you've lost, like, can you imagine losing all your files for your company? I mean, it is just a rock in your stomach of what am I gonna do? And I hate to see people in that uh, situation. Um, so this is a little graph that we, we kind of came up to. I have a lot of jokes, philosophies in business. And this is something that I kind of talk about, which is IT is really like an infinite loop of going from projects and we do this every time. Anybody who's my client understands this. We go through these phases that go, uh, it starts as discovery. We go learn what it is. We go into development. We start to build it um, and kind of, you start to rough it out and, and build whatever the project is, the solution is. Um, and then you test it and then you implement it. 
and then you do a cleanup. And this is like really important because when we're done with a project, it's never really done at that point. There's always little things that you gotta go clean up to make it 100%. And ultimately, uh, we always go with a follow-up, which, which is me asking, hey, is everything good? And I always wanna see that thumbs up of like, yeah, everything is great. Then I know that that project is done. And then it goes back to another project. So over years go by, right? Implement a system, we do it, five years goes by, and then we have to implement another system. So it's always in that infinite loop. Um, the things, the, the uh, what we follow is Toyota Lean Manufacturing. So I'm gonna get into this. This is, um, these are some terms that we kind of use that come from Japanese um, uh, lean manufacturing. I had an interesting thing the other day in my jujitsu class, my sensei talked about, um, about Kaizen. And Kaizen is something called continuous improvement. And I think this is like, it's for your life. It's like for everything you do in life that you're never done. You always want to be getting better every single day. This is the same thing with IT. You're never like, okay, I'm done with IT and that's it for the, for the rest of my life. You want to be continuously improving just like in life. So big uh, shout out to Hassan. <laughs> We put this together last night, and um, this is something that Dan Gordon and I um, kind of talked about on the phone. Hassan helped me put it into this, and what I wanted to um, what I wanted to put into some simple terms is that every business their their business is is built on a production line, which is really your IT infrastructure. So when you think about it, we have a customer. I probably have a little. Um, yeah, there we go. See, so the customer sits here at your front door or the beginning of the production line, right? And when they go in, and the production line is built on things of your high-speed internet connections, um, where you store your data, your server, your firewalls, your internet connections, your website. And um, the customers come in the front door, and as you can see, it gets the, their problems for your business, like you can think of, of, of uh, your customers' problems or what they're looking for their solution as what runs through your production line. So you have a customer coming in here, he has some sort of you know, challenge. He could have a broken car, he could have a, uh, a tax return that they, they need done, but essentially you're processing it through your production line. And, um, and as you can see in this one, the server breaks down, right? And this is an example of like what happens to your business when some part of your IT fails. Server is down, the internet connection is down, your database is down. The customer sits there with their money, but the business owner cannot uh, produce the results that they want to. And, um, and you go forward, and all of a sudden you have all these customers queued up. And they're not like they're not happy because because you can't process the work that you need to do because you have a failed part on your production line. And um, even when you get that piece working, <coughs> service fixed now. Now you have this queue of people that are kind of upset, and it takes them a while to go through until at the end you finally get. Um, you finally get everybody up and running and your production line is, is working again. And the reason I kind of say this is because I don't think business owners think of their business as running on a production line of IT services. I think, it, does anybody ever think that in their life? Have you ever thought, wow, my business runs on a production line? No. Oh, there you go. See? That's how I set mine up. Well, there you go. Montserrat is very smart. Exactly. Exactly. So I, I think people don't think about this, but it's a good concept because what I do, I think is a, is a hard concept for people because they're like, what does jokes really do? Like, I don't get it. Do you fix computers, do you, right? Do you set up AV for, for people? And the thing is, is that we build and support that production line, right? So we, we maintain all the things that you need for your business to keep running, your emails to be running, um, your internet connections to be there, 
your applications to be online, your databases. Who all thinks those things are important to businesses these days? All right, we got some people that do, that's great. <laughs> Very important, all right. So what do you guys think of this slide? Because Hassan helped me make it, and this has helped me to kind of uh, illustrate something simply. Does it seem, does it seem, yeah? All right. Um, all right, so I have a little video here that I'm not going to play, but this is another thing. Um, Hassan helped me put this together, which is taking these really complicated ideas and turning them into simple um, uh, cartoons, essentially, that I can put... You wouldn't believe the results I got from this, this video. And it was... Um, sometimes I can stand up here and talk about... Yeah, I, would, I don't know. Do you guys want to see it? All right. It's a minute. It's like one minute. You got one minute in here. I got one minute. All right, let's see. IT professional services, managed IT, supporting development and managing operations is what Jokes is all about. We are knowledgeable, trustworthy, and capable of keeping things simple. These are the golden principles we follow. Are you a business owner with an office or web application in search of IT services, such as business high-speed internet connections, computer network design, code deployment, application development, DevOps methodology? If you answered yes to any one of these, then Jokes is the right place to be. A large variety of environments falls under our radar, including the likes of Windows, Mac, Linux, cloud migrations, and virtualization. In addition to application support, we support infrastructure. This includes network security, file services, backups, disaster recovery, and managed IT. When in doubt of which services to rely on, do not hesitate to consult with Jobst. Jobst has everything you need and more right at their fingertips. The best in the industry seeks those who seek the best. Jobst! All right, I think that's the end of my time. And Mark is standing here. We got some questions. Peter? No. Oh. Oh. Yes. Can you uh, send us the link to that? Because I'd like to put it in your contact. Oh, absolutely. Forward. Yep, it's on my face, or it's on my uh, YouTube channel. Julie. It's just not backup to do. There's three, you said you mentioned three types of backups. So yes. A brand of good quality. Okay, that's a great question. So, um, so if you have a Windows or a Mac, Windows has Time Machine to uh, just a USB hard drive that you swap out. Uh, Windows has a built-in uh, history history file manager, which is a backup to USB. Then we use um, Carbonite. The the two that we use for the online are um, Carbonite and uh, CrashPlan. Those are two of the ones that we we can recommend. Does that answer your question? Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Jules. <laughs> Who in the uh, room has been able to use Jules Consulting, Jules IT, with a particular raise of hands? Okay. So we have over 60 members, and that's a good 10% at least. And uh, favorable results? Yes? Yeah. Amazing. Montrose is amazing. Text giving you a thumbs up. So, Peter Gordon's giving me a thumbs up.